Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to church on this snowy Sunday morning. It's after Christmas. And did you notice that in our manger scene, we've added Jesus? Yeah, we did that Christmas Eve. Okay, we had him hidden. Okay, because he hadn't been born yet. Now he does. But I need, some, I need your help because there's a few things in our manger scene that are not near our manger scene. Did you notice that? What's missing? Do you see it? It's over on this side of me. Okay. It's the wise men and their two camels. So I need your, show me your help if you want to help me. Okay, carefully. Two hands, two hands. Set it right over there. Yep. This one's really heavy. There we go. Two hands. So we're going to put them over here. There's a camel there. Right up in front. Yep. And one more. Two hands. Two hands, set it down. Very good. You see, we wait to put the wise men near the manger because it took some time for them to get here. Okay? And this is a, a season of the church here. The, the celebration of the wise men coming is called Epiphany, and that actually doesn't happen until January the 6th. So we got another, actually, another week, but this will be put away by that time. And we're going to be moving on to the baptism of Jesus right away. So we wanted to do that today and show you this. Uh, the three things that the wise men brought. You can see that some of them, if you turn them to face this way, that he has a box. Okay. Grab, you can grab him. Okay. Okay. And you see that he has something on a chain and a container. And he has what? A little urn, right? And they brought some gifts to Jesus. Do you remember what the gifts were? There's three of them. One of them's real easy. It's gold. The other two are kind of strange. Myrrh and frankincense. And these were items that would show us that Jesus is the king, the prophet, and the priest of all the people, and that he would live and die and be buried and rise again. That's what these three gifts kind of represent to us. And as we get them closer, we remember that Christmas moves on. We're still in the Christmas season, and in fact, the Epiphany is the 13th day after Christmas. You remember that song, 12 Days of Christmas? That's what we're in the middle of right now. We are in the middle of the 12 days. It's not the 12 days before Christmas. It's the 12 days of Christmas, starting on December 25th. And so now we've completed our nativity set. We are remembering that people brought gifts to Jesus and you can be a gift of Jesus as well by telling others about Jesus, right? You can invite them to Sunday school, you can invite them to church, and you can play with them and tell them about Jesus. So let's pray about that right now, okay? Fold your hands, bow your heads, and everybody can help me pray this. Say what I say. Dear God, we thank you for the gifts of Christmas. Help us to tell others about Jesus, the greatest gift. In his name we pray. And all God's children say what? Amen. You guys